We are ready for farewell ceremony and closing the yes. Go ahead, we can see you. Very well. And now Shkaplerov uh, saying goodbye to his uh, Russian uh, colleagues, uh, Padalka and Kornienko and Scott Kelly, who will uh, remain on board the station as a three-man crew for the next several weeks. Removal. Two station commanders saying goodbye to one another. And now uh, Vert saying goodbye to Kornienko before he makes his way inside uh, the Soyuz spacecraft that will be his ride home along with Vert's along. Wishing each other uh, good luck and soft landing before the hatches uh, will be closed. Vert's with landing scheduled uh, just about uh, six hours and 40 minutes from now. Okay, thank you, Mikhail. Uh, we will wipe the seal now. Shkaplerov and Padalka wiping down uh, the perimeter of the uh, hatchway uh, at the... Kaplarov and Padalka wiping down uh, the perimeter of the uh, hatchway uh, at the uh, interface uh, between uh, the Soyuz and Rosfiat, ensuring that there's no uh, foreign object at the uh, time uh, that the uh, vestibule or passageway is depressurized. Uh, the leak checks uh, are to ensure that a good vacuum uh, and a good seal uh, is ensured uh, between uh, the departing Soyuz and the International Space Station. And the hatch uh, to the uh, Soyuz closed at 2.04 a.m. Central Time, 3.04 a.m. Eastern Time. Padalka will now work uh, to close the hatch on his side of the docking interface. Again, hatch closure uh, at 2.04 a.m. Central Time. And the hatch uh, on the Rosviet side or the station side of the docking interface, uh, Clough and Christopher Eddy are now uh, inside their Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft. They will begin uh, additional systems checks and the uh, work uh, to depressurize uh, the small passageway between Rosviet and the Soyuz itself. 
they uh, will begin to don their Sokol launch and entry suits and conduct other systems checks and communications checks with the Russian flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside of Moscow. This view of the uh, Soyuz just moments away from its departure from the Rosviet module. The uh, descent module in which the crew is strapped into their seats is on the left side of your screen. The bulbous portion uh, that is docked uh, is the orbital module, the uppermost or forward section of the Soyuz spacecraft. Three minutes. Two minutes. No, it went fast. Here we go. Yes, it went fast. The mode is Undocking confirmed. Checking BVS ready indicate the mode is no longer GTO is clear. Undocking confirmed at 5.20 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz TMA-15M passed over southern Mongolia. Docking uh, mechanism, no issues, no foreign objects, all nominal. Verts, Shkaplerov, and Christopher Reddy bidding goodbye to their home for the past 199 days. It has been one minute. Check King Thrusters A1, D5, D7, A11, A13. All uh, eliminated BVS is ready at page 97. Eight sec for eight seconds, the thrust should be. Approaching. Uh a point over northeastern China, a great view of the Soyuz TMA-15M having departed the International Space Station just two minutes ago. On 57 seconds, copy. And uh, the first separation burn is underway. Not illuminated. The burn is complete and good. BVS on. We have a roll maneuver. A good view of the roll maneuver now underway that places uh, the Soyuz in the proper orientation for the second of the two separation burns that will be coming up just one minute from now. So we continue monitoring maneuver in OSK. Anton Shkaplerov at the controls of the Soyuz. These burns are automated, uh, built into the onboard computer system for the Soyuz vehicle. Shkaplerov in the center seat of the descent module, flanked on his left by board engineer number one, Samantha Christopheretti of the European Space Agency, and uh, NASA astronaut Terry Verts, the offgoing uh, Expedition 43 commander, seated to Shkaplerov's right. 30 seconds. Uh, With uh, Verts, Shkaplerov, and Christopheretti now on their way to their deorbit burn position well away from the International Space Station, they will be uh, reporting on uh, Soyuz systems. They'll have a bit of free time as they prepare for their descent back into the Earth's atmosphere. Ultimately, uh, reporting uh, a little over an hour from now on their descent readiness to Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center. Before loading into the onboard computers all of the parameters for the deorbit burn itself. That deorbit burn, uh, four minutes and 40 seconds in duration, that will be uh, the eight meters per second for its uh, entry back into the Earth's atmosphere. And there's uh, the landing site, touchdown seconds from now. And there's uh, the landing site, touchdown seconds from now.
And we have touchdown. You can it upright, and there you see the soft landing engines firing just a second or two before touchdown. They're also inspecting uh, the uh, spacecraft, uh, documenting its condition uh, following uh, its uh, return to Earth. And there you see uh, the Soyuz uh, commander, Anton Shkaplerov, uh, first out of the uh, spacecraft that uh, he uh, commanded uh, to his uh, bullseye touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Commander Anton Shkaplerov, uh, first out of the uh, spacecraft that uh, he uh, commanded uh, to his uh, bullseye touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan. European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, who spent uh, more time on this uh, first mission of hers than any other female on a single mission in history, 199 days, helped uh, out of the uh, Soyuz vehicle and now being placed in uh, her chair. Thumbs up and a smile from NASA astronaut Terry Virts, the Expedition 43 commander. Thumbs up and a smile from NASA astronaut Terry Virts, the Expedition 43 commander. Thumbs up and a smile from NASA astronaut Terry Virts, the Expedition 43 commander, having completed 212 days in space on his two flights. Virts talking, and as you saw, the descent module did land upright, uh, which uh, helped to facilitate the extraction of the crew. As you can see, uh, the three crew members out of the uh, descent module uh, all uh, appearing hale and hearty. Terry Verts on the left, Shkaplerov in the center, Samantha and European Space Agency uh, uh, personnel uh, having joined uh, the Russian uh, search and recovery forces uh, to help extract the crew. And now, as you can see, uh, the uh, crew members uh, one by one uh, being hoisted in their chairs uh, for a short uh, excursion into the inflatable medical tent where they uh, will be attended to, uh, initial medical testing, and uh, doffing uh, their launch and entry suits. I'm doing great. No, I'm, I feel really good. A little bit of a, wow. a cold something to drink. Some cold water would be nice. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. Good, good.